Hello everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We are an Autodesk reseller and in this video I'd like to deal with a very interesting question that was raised by an interior architect with regards to deliverable to a property manager who is still utilizing AutoCAD 2D for their facilities management on some of their legacy projects as opposed to Revit BIM models. And the question was, we have a shopping center and the property manager expects us to give them a CAD deliverable. We have store one, store two and store three with walls and they all need to be mapped onto different layers. And I thought, all right, this is a very interesting question. And my first instinct was to say, Let's see if we can create a shared parameter and then use a shared parameter to, to do a, some, some sort of override. Perhaps we could filter out the elements within a view and export one view after, <coughs> after another and then combine them afterwards. <coughs> Excuse me, but of course we've got our DWG export setups, which might work very nicely for us. You can see you can export as a DWG. Obviously, if it's a 2D view, then we'll export it as a 2D view. And then we can see that we can actually go and do the actual setup of that. All right. So this is by default the American Institute of Architects. We've got the ISO standard 19650. We've got Singapore standard and other ones over here that has been sent up already. All right, so let's go with the American, American Institutes of Architects. That's usually what it comes out with in the default. And let's create our own. So we can say, all right, let me just create my own setup over there. I'm just gonna, for now, going to call it Micrographics. That is our company name, but of course that might be your setup. And now let's have a look at the layer. So this at the moment is a DPG export setup. Now that you've created your own custom one, you can actually transfer this as a project standard as well. It is a system family, the DWG export setup. But have a look at this. We've got the layer on the projection and the cut. We've got the layer and the color and the layer modifiers. Now that's interesting. Layer modifier. What might that refer to? Well, that is first of all that we've got the category on the left hand side if you go down to the wall category there's the wall category all right so what do we want to export this as and you can see it's coming through as a wall there's some different ones over there and then what can we do for a modifier so if we click on the wall category and we go and add the modifiers there we can see all right we've got custom one custom two custom three fire rating function phase created, phase demolished, phase status, structural usage, underlay, view type, and oh, work set. All right. So that's a possibility. Let's add the work set. As a separator, let's put a dash. Okay. So currently, none of them are really in work sets that we've set, but that's one option that we've got available to us is the work set, which makes it interesting. And then over here, we can see modifiers, where of course, if we have to create many of them, there's the function, the fire rating, phases, work sets, Okay, so there's quite a bit over there. So let's go with the work set. That's going to be the easiest. All right. So for now, that's good. We'll just save that and we'll say, okay. Let's go next. That's not going to export this as a 2D DWG. Let's just do that. Open it up in AutoCAD and have a look at it. All right, so we'll open that export. Let's have a look at the layers. 
uh, layer properties manager you can just see a wall that came through that of course is a cut layer let's quickly go and fix fix that so we'll do the DWG export setups again okay so for good measure let's attach the work set modifier to all the layers and we know that they're going to come through for all the wall categories let's we can use a search function to go through the wall over there and let's just do this for every one of them add or edit exactly like that let's just run through them quickly we'll add the work set put a modifier there we'll just run through them quickly and then pick up the video again all right so here we go i've added the work set to all of those we can see them we go okay and let's go next overwrite the existing have a look at that in AutoCAD We can see that the modifier came through as work set one. All right, so we've got something coming through. And now let's apply the rest of the solution. So we'll create work sets, new work set. Let's do store A. We'll do store B. Well, let's just call them by name one store one store two and store three now we've got three work sets we'll attach them to the walls for those stores so this work set won't be work set one that'll be store one those two walls over here That will be store two and these two over there that'll be store three so once we've done that then we'll do the export uh, file export CAD formats DWG overwrite the existing and now I have a look at that within AutoCAD alright let's have a look these are in A Wall Store 1 A Wall Store 2 and a wall store three so that will give you a lot of custom modifiers should you wish to use them the schema probably doesn't fit into your idea of traditional BIM workflows but you know if you if you finish with the project or you're at the stage of a deliverable and you create a parallel file attach the walls to their respective word sets and do the, the the dwg export you could at least give or provide the deliverable to the property manager in this case or to whoever is concerned um, and give it to them within the cad format that that they require well i hope you've learned something from this and until next time enjoy revit